Jason King came here to motorboat fun bags and kick ass, and he's all out of titties. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood is up to its old tricks again. A 33-year-old movie that I love so much has got the blackface treatment. They're just removing the white actors and replacing them with black actors and actresses instead. What am I talking about? Well, when you see, you're going to absolutely cringe beyond belief. The name's Newcomb. Duke Nukem. No, I'm not here to kick ass or chew bubblegum. I'm not here to get even with those alien bastards for shooting up my ride either. I'm here to tell you to watch Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. So watch out for him and his babes of the 1980s. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Hail to the king, baby. Don't tell mom the BLM babysitter is dead. Now, I've not seen this trailer yet. I'm guessing the babysitter is a white person or at best, maybe a fellow black alumni and they're going to wind up dead in the back garden. We shall see. This trailer is two minutes and nine seconds long and it's been ratioed to death already. So I guess people have fond memories of the original. I will talk about that trailer and that film after this monstrosity. So without further ado, it's restricted. The original movie was a PG-13. Teen drug use, language, and some sexual references. Okay, let's go. Can't wait. BLM, Simone Joy Jones, Nicole, Nicole Richie. Oh no. Mom had a nervous breakdown. Whoa. And now she has to go to Thailand to an She had a nervous breakdown because she was that fat. Holy shit. How did they manage to squeeze her into the in, onto this film set? That's what I want to know. Was it like they needed two trailers to accommodate her ass and her face? I mean, I am at, oh, this is this what, Mexican or, or Asian gentleman there, a guy who looks a bit like Alex Jones, but let's carry on, folks. Whoa, and now she has to go to Thailand to an immersive two-month yoga meditation retreat. So we even had a whole house to ourselves. We can live like white kids. We crank it. We can live like white kids. <laughs> A Bet Plus original movie. Isn't Bet Plus a gambling company? Because you're black. <laughs> I'm Ms. Durak. Angry black woman. Whoop de doo. What did I say? She was going to be white. Possibly. I didn't bank on the fact she'd be carrying the Holy Bible with her. Let's go red. There goes my summer. <laughs> I know how to discipline you. I watch Medea movies. <laughs> this garbage where do you think you're going get that crap out of your system do something bro i know you said no guests but we had already invited our church friends for bible study oh and you might hear music but it's christian hip-hop hip-hop ruined the blacks <laughs> she's not wrong <laughs> we're in the law things there is some good hip-hop out there honestly the old stuff by dr dre is great nwa fantastic with mr ice cube and co but oh yeah everything after that is absolute dog shit so the white granny so far is my favorite character in this entire god forbidden trailer because at least she's actually trying to show the black kids of today how they should behave Oh, let's twerk. Let's do a yardy man skank. Good morning, Mrs. Sturrock. Mrs. Sturrock? Cricket. Sweet. My first dead body. I'm for sure going to juvie. We're hungry. You gotta get a job. Rose the cold classic reimagined. Of course. Of course it is. Plenty? Unless you're my ex-boyfriend or my ex-boyfriend's wife. I am the executive assistant. I mean, Nicole Richie, is she actually a white chick? I can't remember, but uh, she looks okay here. I am the executive assistant to the chief executive officer. Bring it in, sis. Whoa. A-frame hugs only. I didn't spend three hours in that sexual harassment course for nothing. Wait a second. Don't miss the funniest film of the year. Says who? Music. 
this is terrible. I'm not going to watch any more of this. Nicole Richie at least is having tried to have some fun, and Julie Squibb, who plays the unfortunate dead babysitter. But what do the comments say here? So remember, this is based on a 1991 movie. Whatever we did to deserve this, we're sorry. Looks like a tax write-off movie. I agree, because I don't know when America gets their new tax funds for the following year. In the UK, it's usually around the beginning of April. So I'm not surprised. Well, this looks like complete garbage, because at this point, look, I haven't even finished the trailer. And it's just like, it's a series of vignettes where people are doing this and they're doing that. You don't really get a sense of, right, the, the white babysitter is dead, so it is carrying on like nothing else has happened. And we're trying to disguise the fact she's dead. And the police aren't really doing much investigating because it's a white police officer. And apparently he's dumb, even though he's got a few suspicions, but he can't go beyond that before he gets uh, labeled as an harasser for diverse people. Guys, 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 hear me out. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead, pause for effect, but they're black. This looks terrible. So literally just race swapped and released as a new movie. I got it. It's true. That's an accurate comment. It's absolutely true. And on IMDb, again, look at the poster. This is an awful poster. I mean, again, if the actors and actresses were so great in this film, why don't you show their faces? And what's really sad is that two of the writers from the original 1991 movie, Tara Eisen and Neil Lando, have been roped in to reimagine this remake. Did they need the money? Maybe. Were they convinced that ESG and DEI scores are part of this whole new turnaround for entertainment? Who knows? But I'm glad it got ratioed. It's a glorious ratio, by the way. Only 236 people like this trailer because they're clueless. And again, 2,500 plus have disliked this into oblivion. And this is on the IGN Movie Trailers channel. <laughs> Surgeon's knife, eh, Jeeves? Precisely. Insane. Look at the poster here with the gorgeous Christina Applegate. I had such a crush on her when she played Kelly Bundy in Married with Children with the great Ed O'Neill. And uh, when she was starting to do her own films, I just thought, yeah, this, yeah, and Christina Applegate, I don't hear anything woke about her. She seems like a very base lady because you know why certain people like her and me were born in a generation where when you grew up, you didn't want to uh, accept the absurdities of today's uh, world that we live in. But of course now, let's have a look at the trailer for this film. Again, don't tell mom that Babysitter's Dead from 1991, 33 years ago. How has time flown by, ladies and gents? 2,000 up votes, only 82 down votes. So let's have a quick look. I'm getting rid of her for two whole months. I can go to the beach. I can stay out as late as I want. I can do anything. I'm a free woman. You know when the empowering woman message wasn't about, oh, I'm going to come in here and wipe the men out of existence? No, nope, it's just about the empowerment message for the 90s, which is fine. Hi. Hello, dear. Imagine if that was a black babysitter that turned up at the front door, how that would be greeted by today's woke narrative. Oh, my God. I'm a stewardess. I'm a babysitter. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, you little maggots, now line up. Are you serious? I'll make your summer a living. Hell. I like how she insults them. Oh, hey! oh that dog. TV rats your brain. It's time we <laughs> let her know the rules. Yeah, we outnumber her. Let's kick some butt. Is that Sturak? Sturak? Oh, my God. She died in her sleep. They'll probably blame us. Hey, be careful. I got her. No, I need a skateboard. Rock and roll! Yeah! What? How's my baby? In your dreams, babe. Oh, how you doing, Mom? No, Mrs. Drax's not here. She, um... She went to the yarn store. So, what do you guys want for breakfast? Cheese omelet. Spaghettios. Breakfast is served. 
Throw them on today and don't forget to do the dishes, okay? <laughs> dishes are done, man. And that's it. I mean, look, that's not a really well put together trailer. That was the trailer of the times. That's how they used to market the films back then. But, you know, I'm watching that and I'm getting a lot of sense of nostalgia, joy, absolute fun. But when you look at the reimagining, it's the reconditioning, as I like to call it. That's exactly what it is. Hollywood, you have no freaking clue what you're doing these days, do you? And then you sit there and you cry wolf and you say, oh, maybe because the fans are toxic and they're race baiting, hating people out there. Again, have a look at the color of my face, Hollywood. And I dare to sit here in my chair and tell you guys and girls, you have absolutely no effing idea. I'm sure Larry Fink is stretching out his nasty little tendrils into your uh, shareholders section and trying to influence the, the, the sea change that we all desperately need right now. We don't. None of us need it. I don't want it. And I certainly don't want it infecting my entertainment. But of course, who am I? I'm just a dumb paying customer who has decided actually not to even go to the cinema? I might go and watch Monkey Man with Dev Patel because that actually does look good. And Dev, yes, he does some very strange things like taking a Charles Dickens novel and putting himself in the lead role. But then again, you know, I can see what he's doing there. And it's just like, hey, you know what? He kind of does these things without making it a big projection about how we need to be more diverse. He just gets on and does it. And I've got to give the guy some credit there. And again, he was in the uh, that green arrow, the green mask medieval thing. I've forgotten what it's called now, which actually I tried watching and I actually got bored of it. So I was kind of a bit like bummed out. But Death Patel's a good actor and Monkey Man could be the start of a new franchise where John Wick left off. So who knows? But don't tell mom that BLM Babysitter is dead is going to be an absolute catastrophic failure at the box office and may just be resigned to being a tax write-off as that very bright and observant YouTube subscriber pointed out in that video. But if I were you, ladies and gentlemen, and if you were me, you should perhaps come back for the next video and a lot of motorboating. <laughs>